So this is chapter three, the final chapter in the sunroof steel headliner uh, installation. And from the past video, uh, remember we had the rails in the in the roof of the car, where we noticed that our cables did break, and we had to buy new cables with the new sliders attached to them. So uh, just make sure you you position this correctly, and then remember that bottom track is for your headliner uh, slider that goes in the headliner piece, the last piece. Uh, so when you insert the cables, make sure that they come out of the the end tubes like this at the top of the tubes, and they're going to crisscross and then go into the bottom part of the the channel there, the tubes. So just make sure they crisscross like that and then you're going to set up our mechanisms and whatnot uh, like we did in the previous chapters. It's going to do the same exact thing. So just make sure your sliders and your cables slide really well on these rails. You might want to use some WD-40 and uh, make sure these, these work good because you want this roof to slide sufficiently back and forth without binding and grinding and skipping. So we set it up and here we put our, our gear plate in, we got our cables through, we got them through our J-tubes, and then we got them through the rails here. And make sure your rails are all screwed down and position your sliders accordingly here from the screw to that corner of the slider right now. And we're going to adjust those later, but that's where we like to start to set it up. And just make sure everything gets buttoned down, put everything back into its position, and then you're going to put that steel plate that goes on top of the gear and then your plastic cover that goes on top of that. And remember, don't torque these screws down too much because uh, they do strip in those plastic uh, pieces here. So there's the top cover I was talking about. And you're going to want to screw that down because the cables will skip and jump if, it's, if there's no tension on top of them. they got to stay in uh, alongside the gear. And then there's where our sliders are. And then we're going to start cranking the cables and just making sure everything moves good. You want to make sure this all works good before you start putting everything together, the roof that is. So go slow and just make sure those cables go all the way almost towards the back. There's a bump stop back there where it will end, uh, but that's basically how far back they should go, as you see here. And then crank it back and get them up into position. So they pretty much stop there. That's the closed position, and then they will pivot upwards to bring the roof up so it lines up with the roof of the car. So you get your steel roof, plant that in. Make sure you put all your uh, your covers on. Screw everything down. Again, don't torque it too much because that's only plastic, the new hardware. And then you want to get those pivots that are on the the pivot arms that are on the sliders and position them inside the roof, the steel roof. There's a a section for them to slide right into, just like that. And then there's this. Uh, strap here, the steel strap that goes underneath the arm like that and that will help the arm raise when the uh, comes time to close the roof. And then this is our other section here in the front part of the roof that helps raise uh, uh, the roof level to the roof of the car as well. Remember we had to make this because we didn't have the original pieces and we used washers for our measurements there. And then this is where again where we can position uh, the sliders, the screw to the corner of the slider, which you'll see we're going to have to adjust that, so we have to move it forward a little bit more, about about a half inch, uh, just because it needed to come forward a little more. When we put that roof in, it wasn't even with the opening. So again, you're going to take these plastic pieces off again and reposition the cables, and similar to what we showed you last time in the other two chapters. Just follow those. So we made our measure. We just made a pencil mark on the, the rail as you can see there. And then you're going to have to take the cables out of the gear again and move the cables so those sliders come up. And that's where then we positioned it. And you'll see from that screw to that line it's about two inches. There you go. See from the screw, the center of the screw to that line or the uh, front part of the slider towards the front of the car it's two inches. Alright, and now you can see the roof is actually even all the way around, which is really nice. So you got to, once the roof is closer to the front, then that back end comes up. It, the pivot will force its way up. Now we got to put our felt in. So you got to take the roof back out. <laughs> and uh, we had to put 
remember don't forget to put this there's a seal here that's got to go on the back lip this lower lip on the uh, the rear end of that steel roof we just got some tubular weather strip seal they do sell the seal for this but you have to glue it down I don't really like the seal that they offer so get this at Home Depot it's got a self-adhesive back to it just position it on the, the top roof Here's the old seal, the, the seal I did buy. I really didn't care for this seal and the way it was positioned on the, uh, the way it felt just on the roof, it wasn't good. It, you know, I like this tubular seal that's got a sponge to it. And this is the way you want to position it on the roof. And now the uh, felt seal is right here and that's the front part we're going to do first. We're going to just get some blue painters tape and just position it correctly all the way around. Just make sure it's nice and even. This is not a difficult thing to do. I mean, some people ask me how to do this. Uh, it's really not so bad, so don't be too scared about doing it. Uh, just make sure it's even all the way around passenger and driver's side. And again, some blue painters tip to keep it into position. Uh, get some 3M, you know, 90 weight. Uh, Spray adhesive, spray it on the top of a coffee can, top, or something, or a piece of cardboard. Get yourself a brush and start gluing the body. Just start rubbing it on the body, on the inside portion where that flap, basically the flap of the felt is going to glue to the body. And then you want to put some glue also on the felt because, again, this is tacky on tacky surfaces that makes the bond. So then you just apply that, again, flat to flat, flat portion of the felt to the flat portion of the body, and make sure the bead up top on the felt is overlapping a little bit of the roof, so you get a nice seam. A finished seam, a finished edge, so to speak. And go all the way around and do this all the way around the front perimeter portion of the roof opening and then you're going to want to do the rear end there's a separate piece you have to buy that usually comes in a kit um, again CIP1 or Wolfsburg West and do the same thing but this will glue upwards it's underneath the roof there and if it does come a little long you just clip it off so it's even with the front portion not too difficult Okay, and then the center, the last piece is a center square piece that gets the last piece of the headliner. You're going to put this uh, pad, this foam pad that was uh, with this like, jute material which came on the original car, uh, we saved and we reused that and glued that back down. The, the aftermarket piece that was for, on the market today just did not work right. It's too big. So now we're going to put the headliner down and glue this down to the center. And you're gonna, it's going to have to get pulled nice and tight all the way around. But you see where you have to start first. There is a section on the panel that has spikes, and those part of the headliner that has the pouch, the tube there, the pocket where the headliner bow will be inserted into. Make sure you save that when you do a teardown, and you're going to reinsert that in, and then push that over the spike and make sure it inserts through the pouch. And then once you insert that through. Uh, that double layer there, then you just get the hammer, get yourself a hammer, and just bang the spikes inward to keep that portion down. Then you go to the opposite side of the roof, uh, the uh, the piece there, the frame, and then glue it over these door panel style clips that should be on your roof, on your uh, your slider there rather. Then you get stuck with the corners. You got to just kind of tuck and pull and make sure you have a nice finished round edge. You don't want to show any of those folds on the opposite side. So if it's a little just too much material, just cut it away. You just want a nice finished look, a finished edge. To so pull it as tight as you can. Tweed stretches really nicely. So that's how the nice finished look would look. The finished square piece. That's how it should look. And then the center has another pocket or like another piece that has to wrap around the center uh, frame portion there just to glue it down and then this is if you go into your Bentley book you'll see that this is how they insert the roof 
the center piece into the roof. You actually got to bend it and get it into the, the rails. Don't be afraid to bend it and cock it in there. And remember, it's the lower track on the rail, not the upper track. The upper track has the cable sliders. Just like that. And just again, that center piece of the headliner gets glued to that center part of the frame. Push that center piece all the way back, move your sliders up. And now we can put the roof in and then the, the bottom headliner piece will get attached to the roof. So you see we put the roof in, put our, you know, put our cables and everything hooked up to the roof. Now you're going to need to pull the center headliner piece to these uh, openings for the door panel clips to go into. Just open the roof a little bit, back it off, and then get those clips to pop into the roof. So we pop that centerpiece into the steel sliding roof. Now we can test out the roof and see if it moves okay. A lot of this is trial and error, guys. You could have to take it out, do it again, and if the cables start jumping, you have to do it again. You might have to lube the cables more. So just go easy here and just test, test, test. So as we close, you'll see that the roof hits the front part of the car and then it goes upwards and there's a nice even seam all the way around with the felt. Really nice. That's your finished look, guys. Now this is the last part that we're going to talk about. This is a kit that you can buy. It comes with the handle that you can buy online and this is the, the last cup that gets mounted you know, in front of the handle there towards the front of the windshield or towards the top of the, the window frame there. And just screw that in. Again, don't horse it in. Just uh, cut a, a, an incision into the headliner. See where that hole is and then uh, and get it up in there. Small cuts. At least you got the cover to cover it. Got a bit. You, cut, you slice up the headliner a little bit more. And the last piece is these little caps that go over the screws. Oh my god. These aftermarket pieces, they just don't want to fit. And we had a hell of a time just trying to get those caps over the screws on the, uh, the handle just a, a tough one so we didn't even bother it's okay <laughs> but this is the finished roof guys I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, three-part video series um, I'm sorry this one came out a little bit late uh, please do not forget to subscribe and um, give us a like a thumbs up and I'll talk to you later take care <laughs>